Hi friends, welcome back to my channel Testing Mini Bikes. I am your friend Abudun Sakthivel and in this video, we are going to see about how we can create a driver factory that is going to help us to, to manage our, you know, uh, you know, the driver classes really well, right? Because for now, we have a lot of classes and we get confused where, you know, how to handle all these things, right? So we're going to have one single driver factory that that going to accept some parameters, do a lot of calculations and give us back whatever the drivers that we want based upon our demand, right? Very, very simple. Imagine you want, you go to a shoe factory, you order for shoes, uh, you tell, you know, I want a size of this, I want a color of this, I want this material, right? You give a lot, a lot of your requirements to this and then it give you back the result. The same way, we, we want to have one class that going to accept all of our requirement. Let's say I want to run it on local, I want to run it on this particular browser, I want to run a mobile test, whatever your requirement, give it to that it's going to give you back the results, right? Very, very simple. We're going to uh, do that in this particular video. Let's get to IntelliJ. And before we do all these things, right, the, we want to check whether the basic stuffs are working, right? Before we want to create a, a driver factory, we want to check basic stuffs are working, right? So I have a driver class, and this is where, you know, I'm trying to call a local driver factory, uh, which basically accepts a browser where you want to run it and, uh, and gives us back... Uh, the, the driver, right? Uh, this is for running our test on local web browser, right? We have four different modes, local web browser mode, a remote web browser, uh, let's say Selenium Grid or Selenoid. Let's say you want to run your mobile test on local Android emulator or iOS emulator. There is another mode for that. And we also have remote mobile. Let's say you want to run your mobile test on browser stack or SaaS labs. So we have four different modes and we have different classes that manage them, right? So we want to handle uh, you know, these four, you know, single class, we want to write some logic and then get us back the decided drivers, right? But for us, for now, what we can do, we will do a basic testing. Let's say I have a test called as demo test and which extends the base. Uh, and then I have a before method that calls the init driver method, right? This is the init driver. For now, let's hard code it here. And then we, we can slowly improvise this later, right? We want to test it. If I try to run this now, it should actually open a browser in my local and then it should, you know, I'm not doing anything else. So it should simply quit the browser, right? Very simple check. Yes, this is working. Uh, let's say I want to run this on remote. Uh, I don't want to run it on local. So remote driver factory. And this basically requires two arguments. One is the remote run mode. Uh, what I can basically give is config factory dot get config and browser remote mode, right? Where I want to run it. And most importantly, uh, for now it is set as Selenoid, uh, but I haven't have my, you know, uh, Selenoid up and running in this particular place. So you may get browser unreachable exception, but that's okay for now. For us, we want to just check uh, whether this is trying to hit localhost 4444 URL, right? Uh, let's try to run it now. Again, guys, notice, every time we are passing different, different parameters, right? And if you notice, this is unreachable browser exception, invalid address, because in our local host 4444, the grid is not up and running. But yeah, in your case, if it is up and running, it will work, right? We are not going to dig deeper there because all our focus is on the framework development, not on all these things. I have separate playlist for running your test on Selena and all that, you can always check them out. And the last one, uh, you know, another one is basically local uh, re mobile driver factory. And in this, I want to call the get driver method. And this accepts where you want to run the test, Android or iOS. For me, first, I want to check whether it is running on Android, right? Let's try to run it. I have my uh, APM server up and running, my emulator up and running. So it should basically try to launch the app there. I'm not doing anything apart from launching the app. So maybe it's very quick and it has passed. Let's try to do it one more. So it should launch the app. Yeah, it quickly launched and quickly closed it. Yeah. And now if I want to run it on local iOS device, I just need to pass like this. Try to run it now. This is just a quick way of testing your stuff, right? I like to test very, very small things and then build on a big one later, right? If you don't check your small ones, it might, uh, you know, not work. Right? Again, this also have worked. Uh, we are speaking something else. So we missed to notice. Let's see whether this is launching that. So it's basically... Yes, it launched that. So this is very, very easy things. And for remote mobile driver factory, again, you have to pass the remote driver mode. 
Um, so remote mobile driver factory. And we need to pass the mode uh, first, right? So uh, we can tell like config factory or get config uh, dot browser remote mode. This is mobile remote mode. And mobile remote mode, okay. Not the mobile, mobile run mode. Oh, should be mobile remote mode, right? And let's go here and let's check. So this should be mobile remote mode, right? And where this is coming from, it should basically come from config classes let's go and check whether if we have any made any mistakes here config framework config and mobile remote mode should return me mobile remote mode okay mobile remote mode let's go here mobile remote mode should return actually this is returning me something wrong so it should return me mobile remote mode type, right? And now all the errors are gone. So this is this is why we do small testing, right? This is where it becomes really helpful. Now let's try to launch it. Again, this is now set to browser stack, I reckon. So open the config.properties. This is set to browser stack. And also I have updated my, uh, you know, the username and password here. And let's try to launch the app, right? Let's try to run it now. Oh, sorry, I need to actually tell Android because, you know, for the free mode, we don't have iOS. So let's try to run it in Android and check whether this is working. And uh, yeah, let's go here. And let's try to quickly do this reload. Again, if you see a success here, it means it is working. Again, guys, you are only here to see about what is driver factory. You can skip a video a little bit and then you can watch it. Okay. Again, it seems some tests are running. Yeah. And all the sessions are completed. It might take a little bit of time to uh, see the videos, but yeah, this has actually worked and we have a uh, paused test here. Right. So it's all good now. Right. It has launched the app and it just stopped the session. Again, I'm not interested in watching the video uh, for time being. Yeah. This has worked. So we have everything ready, right? So all we need to do is just need to understand for passing different, different stuff, we need to pass different, different values, right? So let's first create a driver factory class inside factory. I can basically create a new uh, driver factory that's going to hand, give me all these different types, right? So let's keep it as final for now and let's make it as private. Right? or yeah and public static or well, let's keep it as web driver for now and get driver and okay for now i let me return null okay and let's try to do some logic yes if you notice very closely different you know different classes remote mobile driver requires different values right and then local needs just a browser type and then remote web needs your remote mode for your browser and, and the browser type. So different, different values, right? So this is very confusing for us to know which values that we need to pass here, right? So what I'm going to do is basically, I have created an entity class called as driver data. This basically holds all these values. Sometimes we need to pass only this, sometimes only this, sometimes only this. So we don't know at what time we need what. So I basically created a, uh, entity class or a pojo that holds this and i also have used builder pattern and the data from lombok so that i can create getters and setters automatically and for the builder pattern if i want to have an optional way of creating an immutable class objects then the builder pattern is the best way i have made a separate video on why we need to go for builder pattern the first thing is it avoids the problem of having telescopic constructors which means you have a lot of constructors which accepts different different parameters right and the second way is is you know if you if you if you uh, expose your setup methods the problem is people might uh, basically uh, create you know it will you will end up creating you know 
a mutable class so i can basically also make it as a getter and then will only expose the getter methods so the objects that we going to produce are immutable and then the builder pattern so let's go to the driver and uh, what we want to do is instead of calling all these classes ourselves let's call uh, driver factory this is the bigger driver factory that's going to handle all these things for us this get driver method i have to pass the driver data okay let's assume uh, we want to get the driver data from here based on that we'll do all the operation okay whatever the data you want to pass just pass it via this that's it now let's go here and we we want to pass this driver data right so let's assume for a web test what and all stuff we need okay uh, let's build that uh, first driver data dot builder right and what we want for for running your mobile uh, sorry the web test you want to pass the browser type where the browser type is coming from is coming from here and what else we need sometimes we also need to pass the remote mode if you want for execution mode is this so we are, we will pass these two things okay so get config dot browser run mode right sorry the browser run mode yes browser remote mode okay and also whether you want to pass it in run it in local or remote so run mode uh, type is get config dot a browser run mode right all these values are something that we need to launch our browser in web browser right so this is for web maybe i will uh, rename this to uh, for web okay for mobile we need some other values maybe i'll create two different methods for now uh, we can later uh, merge them that shouldn't be a problem so maybe i'll create one more for mobile and for mobile let me pause this right let me create a variable here uh, driver data and let's pass driver data here okay now this is fine for mobile we don't need the browser type so we can remove them we want uh, you know the browser remote mode it's it should be mobile remote mode right mobile remote mode and then this should be mobile remote mode right this should be mobile remote run mode right and apart from that we also want which platform we want to run a mobile platform so for now i am hard coding it here so this is let's say this is android but yeah this value alone we may get it from uh, the test right sometimes from the data provider we want to pass android or ios so for now i am hard coding it but this can be parameterized later and let me qu quickly introduce a variable here and uh, pass this right so now all the all the things are uh, done from the from the you know uh, driver side in the factory side you want to make changes right so first first of is first let's say if uh, driver data right dot get okay uh, get browser type okay if the grid browser type okay uh, first i want to check whether this is local or remote so i can say get uh, run mode type right and before all that i also want to check whether this is a web web test or a mobile test okay so what i can do is for now i can say get driver for web okay and then i can call this for mobile i can create one more method okay we will combine these things guys but for now we are going step by step okay and let's go here and to the driver uh, get driver for web and this is get driver for mobile right so all good now let's go here and here we need to write our logic let's say our logic is basically uh, we know this is a web browser right so we can directly check if driver data dot get uh, first i want to check the run mode if it is local or remote okay if it is let's say run mode type dot local and then i i also want to check something else what what is a browser you want to run or if it is local we have something called as local driver factory right dot get and then we will pass driver data dot get browser type that's it we pass it to this guy okay and instead of 
return, you can basically return this, right? Yeah, this is very easy, right? And else, right? If the driver data dot get run mode type, uh, basically, okay, equal to equal to run mode type dot remote, right? Uh, okay, if, else if, right? Else if, or we can basically put an else and then we don't have to evaluate this. Else return remote driver factory dot get driver. And then I need to pass these two values, right? So what I can pass is driver data dot get browser remote mode type and driver data dot get what else we want? Browser type, right? So these are the two values I want to pass. So once we do these things, okay, it will return it. And what is telling? Delete unreachable statement. Yeah, this is fine. So either it will go here or it will go here. But again, the problem is we have some big pojo and then we are splitting it ourselves, right? It would make really good sense if all these get driver methods are only taking driver data. So there is a small confusion, okay? Whether I should pass the driver data itself to this and then let this method handle it. But, you know, see guys, this is like clean code principles. Right? If, if I pass too many values here, okay, which are not relevant to this class and this method is not really needed. That's why we are basically passing only the relevant types here, okay? Only the browser type is of my interest. So I'm just passing that, okay? The other things are not my interest. So I'm just, filtering out only the relevant stuff to myself, right? Same way, only these two values are needed for me. I, I, I only pass these two things, okay? The same way, I can basically copy this and uh, I can basically remove them. And if, there, if the driver data that run mode is local, I don't want this, I want local mobile driver factory. And instead of the browser type, I need to pass driver data dot, get mobile platform type, okay? Because it, it has the Android or iOS, right? Same way, remote mobile driver factory dot get driver, and we want to pass our driver data dot get mobile remote mode, and we also want to pass driver data dot get mobile platform type, right? This is very, very easy, guys, right? So we have now a class, uh, for get driver for web, get driver for mobile. In the in the next video, maybe we will cover how we can club these two methods. Okay, the same way how we can uh, you know club these two methods in a driver for web and mobile. Okay, we can have it, and then you know how we can call it from the test class. This is very important. So for now, we have created a driver factory. Uh, it has two methods. One uh, for web. If you want a web, you can call this method. You can pass all these values. It will does all these calculations and return you what you want, right? The same way this one will also does this. Okay. In the next video, we'll optimize this with, with few more stuff, and then we will go for lambda expression, and then we'll try to optimize them as well. So I'll see you guys in another great video. Until then, Tata by way from Mumbai. Again, guys, if you like the videos, please do subscribe and share it with your friends. Because I put a lot of efforts in making these real-time videos. Uh, you know, uh, your your support is really really important for me. Thank you guys. You all have a very good day. Bye.